This week on Cars and Things Rest Days, well, it's not going to plan, guys. How's things rest days? Well, our plan for this Saturday or night, I think it is, Saturday night or Friday night, probably Saturday night now, um, we're taking the old girl out for a cruise. We're going to get the boys together, we're going to go hit the streets and, and uh, before we do anything else with it. But before we do that, we've got an issue. Let me show you. Okay, um, if you remember, I'm not sure if I showed it, we had a rocket cover gasket leak. We replaced that, but we've still got oil leaking out of it. And it's pouring out. It's absolutely pouring out. It's flicking it all over the extractor, smoking and everything. And it's coming from up behind there. It's got a brand new plate on it and rear main seal. And when you look up there, it doesn't look like the rear main seal's leaking. So it's either the plate or the sump or something like that. So, motor out, guys. Um, I, re I really believe we're going to have to take the motor out because there's no point in pulling the gearbox out and we find out it's leaking from the sump. Um, like so, look at it all. It's all running down here. Unless it's still the rocker cover. But it's coming down here and then it's just flicking it everywhere. Anyway, I'll go back up the stop and I'll have a look. I don't believe it's the rocker cover. It's got a brand new gasket. It's not leaking from this side. I'm pretty positive. Hard to see. I'm going to have to do some investigating. But, uh, well, here's what it is. Other than that, um, I've been mucking around with the tune a bit myself. And... Um, Get, doing a bit of self-tuning on the on the road, uh, just cruising up and down, um, and it's getting a lot better. I richened it up a little bit. Um, I went from 14.7 down to 13.8, I think I put it in. Actually, I can probably pull it up here. Let's have a look. All righty. Now, here's our, our uh, target lambda over here. That was 14.7. Uh, bring it down to 13.5. I've richened it up a bit and it's uh, poor shit loads better Absolutely <laughs> oh, Excuse me. Abs it's heaps better. It's still got if you slowly um, Get into it. It still goes a little bit lean um, so it, it, it will self-tune itself uh, even more if we go down to here um, Sorry, O2 control. Down into long term. Let's have a look what that was doing. As you can see, negative 10, so um, negative 1. And, but the only thing is, I'm not sure if anybody's a girl. I might have to ask Scotty this, but if you see that, it says negative 10 there. And we go to the bank thing, it's all positive. So which would, in my opinion, that would cancel it all out, I would have thought. I'm not 100% sure there. Scotty might know a bit more if I ask him. Um, but um, so what I have done is, as I said, I've richened it up a little bit in this area here because it was, so they wanted 14.7 and it was it was popping, lean popping. So I've gone a bit richer and it's 100% oh, better. You can drive it now and uh, it's getting better and better. I just took it for a drive just then to see... Where I cleaned all that oil leak off to see if, what it was and I just took it for a drive just then and um, it's getting better and better as I drive it. I come around the corner, pulled it at first, stabbed it and it just lit them up like nothing. <laughs> I was pretty stoked with that. Uh, so, um, at th so at this stage, it, it it's going to get better and better, I, I'm pretty sure. I could probably... yeah. 
uh, actually, if I went in and loaded this up again and checked the fuel trims again, it'd probably be different and it'd probably be better because this was from last night after I drove it. Um, so it's getting better. I'm pretty happy with it. Absolutely. Yep, pretty happy with it, guys. Um, so there's our base. Oh, another thing I did, which is not on here, this morning it was when it was idling. Um, this here, th th 3.8, 4.7, was just idling between here and here. And um, when I looked at this over here, the OB2, one percentage, it was up around 20%. So, whoops, what did I do that for? So, whoop, sorry. So what I did was I brought this down uh, to 28, I think. And that down to 28 and that come back close to zero and it it was it started running really really nice and my afr reading on the dash went from around low 12s up to 13s so uh it, it really helped it out so but by doing this eh, apparently by doing the fuel trims that should do it as well should fix it up but anyway it's um doesn't mean jack shit now when I've got to pull the fucking engine back out of it. Ah, well, this is what it is. Um, so I might have to do some more investigating, a bit of a look-see, and um, uh, I'll have to uh, I'll start prepping to pull it, pull it out. And i um, not real happy with that stall converter either. It's, um, it doesn't really stall at all. It's supposed to be two and a half grand stall, but... There's not much stall in it at all, so I might go back to the three and a half stall in it, I think. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes. Alrighty. We'll keep Alrighty. knocking it out. So, uh, just went out to lunch. Uh, come out about half past 12 or a bit after. And it's now 20 past one. And I've got all the gear off. Um, I'll probably just pull that off and put our plate on, on there which is on that motor over there, got to get off. Um, so now I'm just going to go up in the air, I've just got to disconnect the gearbox and, and the uh, uh, flex plate bolts, and we can lift it out. I, I need to get the bonnet off it, need brother to come give me a hand. Um, other than that, it's come along nicely. It's not a real big job to get in now, it's pretty simple, pretty basic engine. They are, all are, they're pretty easy. So uh, I'll keep going and get it smashed out. Alrighty, there you are, she's out. Uh, it's 20 past two, so took me an hour mucking around, undoing everything, extractors, um, all the bell and, and everything, I'm getting it set up, getting that all put together, set up. So not too hard, not too bad. Pretty happy with that. Now, looks very wet there. Um, I did ring Timmy in at um, MOE and had a chat to him and he said, he said, yeah, you always put sealant on the back of the sump. He said it could be just leaking on there. And Tim, because that's not an original sump. It's uh, probably, um, what do you call them? Uh, like a, oh, is it? I don't know if it's original sump or a rod shop. So it might be an original sump. Anyway, it's not off this engine, so um, that could be the problem. We'll pull the flex plate off and we'll have a bit of a look behind it. Alrighty, so it is a lot of oil everywhere, but it is up on the seal. Brand new fucking plate and seal on there. Shit. I might pressurise it and see... Pressurise it and see if I can get anything to leak out the back there. So there we go. Alrighty, we're back here this morning. Um, we're back onto the uh, L98. Uh, I believe I found what the issue was. Um, but I went in and saw the boys at uh, SBS in Mildura and they were, he's pretty, sh well, what he said, and I did confirm this by watching a few videos on YouTube last night, and what it, I believe it was, is I didn't put any sealant 
along the bottom between the, the gasket and the plate along here. And he said he always put sealant right along here. Um, and then I watched a bit on YouTube and they all do it as well. So what I think it is, is that seal is in a fair way and I reckon that it must only just touch on the edge of, of that plate, especially when it's a non-genuine plate. Um, and I reckon now it's been leaking out past here but there was a little bit of oil on that seal and I did see also online that they reckon that the you really need a really good seal in them a neoprene seal I think they were saying um, that one is not it's like a felt type seal um, uh, so I believe that's what the cause is but when I was at SBS they had a genuine GM uh, one there so I've got a new plate for it so I'm going to put that on it um, that's not going to go to waste because I have another seal in brother's uh, engine kit here there it is there so hopefully that's a, a good one when I open that I'll have a look and I'll probably just put that into that new plate and we'll put that in brother's engine so not going to go to waste um, so got to say thanks to the boys at SBS um, Brady in there and Dale, thank you guys um, for, for that. And also, uh, went and got some Ultra Grey from Repco. The boys at Repco helped me out. Thank you to uh, Darren and Gurks in at Repco and the whole team in there. Thank you. So, guys, do yourself a favour, get into Repco Mildura and uh, all you locals and get your stuff from them because they help us out and while you guys going in there allows them to help us out so thank you to Repco Mildura um, oh and to the the viewers that were in there that come up and said hello to me and had a chat to me um, thanks for, for that guys it was nice to meet you um, you know who you are the guys who were talking to, to me about Cletus McFarlane's channel got on you boys thank you um, let's get back this and get it all sealed up and get it back into the into the thing now, I'm going to have some guys jump on and go, oh, what did you pull the engine out for? You could have just pulled the gearbox out. Yes, true, I could have. Um, but I didn't know whether I had to pull a sump off. Um, I wasn't sure whether I was going to pull a sump off and reseal the whole sump. And I thought, if I've got to re pull a sump off it, I might as well pull the engine out. And uh, then I can put it on the uh, engine stand and, uh, and pull the sump off. Would have been easy. Plus... To get that gearbox out on my own is a friggin' pain in the ass, mate. It's got to be twisted and turned, and it took four of us to get it in. So it's much easier on my own to just pull the engine out. So there you go. Okay. Uh, all back together. I've uh, got the plate on. We've got plenty of sealant in there. You probably can see it. Uh, it squeezed out a little bit out the back. I didn't put a lot on the inside. Just a little smear across the, the uh, rubber O-ring on the sump gasket just so when it pushed in I didn't want it to have a big layer of silicon on the inside so mainly it was on the back side and when I clamped it up it squashed out so so hopefully that is good um, and what I did was uh, put the bolts plate on pushed it on did all the bolts up and left them loose wound it over a couple of times just to make sure that seal was uh, centered and then torqued it all up and torqued the two bottom bolts up. All good. Um, what else did I do? Um, I uh, loctited those in because they fell out on me. They're the rod shop uh, dowels. They were a bit loose in there, so I punched, sent a punch around it, put some loctite on it, put them back in. They should stay in there because they, they actually caused me grief. Now yeah, they stayed in the plate and the thing. Uh, that's all sorted, talked up the uh, bolts, put some sealant on them, put some Loctite on them uh, because from what they say they can leak oil past the thread so Loctite on them and uh, talked them up on three stages so that should be good. Um, took that uh, two and a half stall out and I've put that three and a half Hughes stall in it. Um, look. It probably could have been all right with it once I put the blower on it, but it's just, nah, that's the go.
Fuck it, that's the go. All right, I'm going to put it back in now. Let's see there we, we go. go. All back together. Got it running. Just got back from lunch and put some oil and cooling back in it. Light up straight away. Just got to bleed this cooling system down. And I'll let it run there for a while. See if we've got any oil under it, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. So that, I did that, I put that plate on first thing this morning at 8 o'clock. And I think it's, yeah, let's have a look what the helmet is. Hang on. It's 2.30 now. So that's plenty of time for it to, to cure. It does state it needs to cure overnight, but that's good enough. And I'll put some warmth in the engine. I'm not going to drive it. Let's get this cooling system bled. And uh, it'll get the engine warm, and it was only it would only leak when I was driving it before, so I'm pretty positive it would have been just that thing that seal between the sump and that. Anyway, uh, there we go. It's all back in and running. Uh, Mick will be out tomorrow, so we'll be back into it. We'll give it a drive, give it a clean up, and we're going to take it out for a cruise tomorrow night. Be okay. All right, you guys. Uh, warmed it up, and if it's not one thing, it's another. So I haven't driven it, but that's very dry there now. But have a look at this shit. Now I've got a friggin' transmission line leaking. Top one too, the worst one to get to. Fucking pain in the ass. Give you the shits. Oh well. Got to fix that now. All right, going for a bit of cruise bit. Not what we wanted to do. We want to go tonight, but we can't because we've got a friggin' party to go to. But so as you can see, our day is like it's pretty grim. It's already not much of a day, and it's rained, and it's so good old right. sunny Muldura. We had a bit of oil from that trans leaking onto the wrap, and it was smoking. But here's what it is. Now we've got a little bit of. Slip in the converter too, it's heaps better. Anyway, we're going on a bit of a, a, bit of a drive and uh, it's getting better on the tune, isn't it, Mick? Yeah, it's it is self tuning. 